Okay, today we're going to talk about something that is so universal, but I think it's something that a lot of us struggle with, and that is those feelings of perfection, that we need to be perfect. We need to be the perfect mom. We need to be the perfect wife. We need to take care of the house and have it looking perfect. We need to, you know, we, why would I go outside and ride my horse when I have three loads of laundry to do? You know, why would I go out time and spend it getting just fresh air when my floor is absolutely disgusting or I have to go get, I have to do this. I have to do that. And so we always put everything else ahead of what we really, really want because of this stereotype or it's just that thought process. And I guess, depending on how you were raised, this might not, you know, this might seem really true to some and not so much for others, but um, worrying about what other people think, right? Because that is kind of at the root. Well, it's not kind of, it is at the root of perfectionism because if we weren't worried what other people are going to think, then being perfect wouldn't matter so much. So we're actually going to get somebody to come in and talk with us this afternoon. So I'm really excited about that. And she's going to talk to us a little bit more about dealing with um, those feelings of perfection, of needing to be needing to be perfect and and how we can kind of navigate that it was a big struggle for me when I first came to live on the farm here with my husband because um in this part of the world you know when someone wants to stop by for coffee they don't call right they just show up and it was really really hard for me to handle having people in my house when it looked a mess even when it was just kind of untidy it was hard for me and now it wasn't it's kind of hard to pinpoint this because i didn't feel so much that they were going to judge me but i judged me i felt like i failed because i should have had a cleaner house um, it's not like I thought that they were going to attack me or talk to me about me in the community that my house was messy or whatever, but I just, I felt like I failed myself. And then at the same time, you know, it kind of would be like, well, is my husband embarrassed? You know, is he, does he think the house should be better? And so it, it causes a lot of unnecessary negativity when you feel like you need to be perfect. And I think all of us have this, at least in some area of our life, and it causes a lot of unnecessary stress until we really start to understand the why behind it. And, you know, it's, it's stuff that you can actually work on because you would have called me a perfectionist for sure. Am I still a perfectionist with things? Some things, yes. Yeah, some things I definitely strive for more, but there's a lot of stuff that I've actually learned how to accept. I've learned how to accept my husband showing up with a stranger to me or a neighbor who wants to come over for coffee and my house looks like a bomb went off with food all over the floor because my kids have just been crazy, paint all over the kitchen table. And it's like, you literally almost have to sweep off the table for them to put their coffee mugs down. Um, it's taken a lot for me to be able to be like, you know what, this is my life. Sometimes my house is a disaster and that's fine. And sometimes I'm going to leave my house in a disaster and I'm going to go out and do something fun for me because I know that that's what I need. But this didn't happen overnight. It took a lot of internal work and a lot of reflection on, okay, well, why do I feel that way? You know, try to call those memories up that perhaps was from my childhood. You know, did my dad nag my mom for having a messy house? Did I, someone come over once and like shame my mom for a messy house was I made to feel guilty that I had a messy bedroom when I was a kid, you know, like really taking time to reflect on the root of why it's so important to you. Because I know I've asked in here before, you know, like the root of why a lot of us don't get out to our horses is for one, not enough time. And two, when you do have time, you feel like you have to use it being productive as in house cleaning or cleaning the yard or you know doing something other than your passion and and that's not healthy I'm going to be blunt that's not 
healthy. There's nothing wrong with a clean house. There's nothing wrong with a messy house. And I'm not telling you to be lazy and not do any of the chores that you're supposed to do in your life. But what I am saying is to find that beautiful balance of give and take, you know, like today I'm not going to worry about my floors and I'm going to go for a ride because I can. It's beautiful weather. Someone's here to watch the kids. And instead of cleaning like a crazy person for two hours while my kids are out with whoever, I'm going to go for a ride and enjoy myself because I need it and I deserve it. So make sure you tune in. Um, the live is happening at one o'clock today. And if you can't make it live, that's fine. There's going to be a recording and the recording will be put into the challenge. And so you can find it there later if that's what you need to do. So your task today is just to take some time and really reflect on your perfectionism um, or your need for control and, and share with us in the comments um, what's one thing you have a hard time letting go or not doing when you have that opportunity to ride? Is it housework? Is it you feel like you need to um, work on your books or you need to go out and work or, or like, what does that look like for you? Share with us because um, when you're brave enough to share those things, someone else is going to read what you wrote and you're like, oh my gosh, I feel that exact same way. And there's nothing more wonderful than feeling like you relate to others that all of a sudden you are a lot more normal than you thought, but it takes a couple of brave people to step out there and actually do the comments to help other people who might be a little bit more shy um, to start talking out themselves. Okay. All right. Talk to you later.